took shape. We got the whole world locked in for this one. attack happened here in front of the Valentino store on 5th Avenue just north of 54th Street. Now the hate crime task force of the NYPD is investigating. Police tell us that on Saturday evening just before 9 o'clock a 35 year old woman dressed in Islamic clothing was walking on the sidewalk when she felt something warm on her left arm. Well, for good reason, her shirt was on fire. She padded out the fire and saw a man right next to her holding a lighter. He was captured on surveillance video. He fled eastbound on 54th Street. Hasn't been seen since. Beach woman who police say punched two young Muslim women in the face, kicked them, and then tried to rip their traditional Muslim veils or hijabs off their heads. Police say 32-year-old Emma Jetta Zalili even tried to knock over one of the young women's strollers, which had a 15-month-old baby inside. This vicious attack happened at 20th and Cropsey Avenues. The suspect was arrested a few blocks away, and police say she continued to spew her anti-Muslim venom while the handcuffs were being put on. The Brooklyn District Attorney has called it a hate crime. It all started on Facebook with a spirited post by Stanford Athletics to promote a contest. At first glance, a diverse group of women all having fun while cheering on their football team. I only saw it when someone tagged me in it and then shared it to their Facebook account and were like, oh my gosh, look, and like tagged all of us in the picture. But that initial excitement turned into disappointment with people mainly taking issue with Stanford junior Tisay Yusuf, who was wearing a hijab. One person wrote, Hey Stanford, take the Muslim expletive elsewhere. We don't want to see it. And that was one of the tamer comments. Another person called for Yusuf and her friends to be shot. It's the kind of era we live in now, and it shows just the sort of things Muslims deal with every day. And I guess we shouldn't be so quick to just brush it off, right? Like it's not a normal thing for people to just be so hateful and spiteful. Yusuf says it's all about perspective. The positivity does really beat out hate, um, but we do have to all take an active stance to, you know, try to to try to beat out that hate um, that lingers.